just thought the changes would mean a bigger audience, but they couldn't have been more wrong. Megan Alexander takes you behind the scenes of the annual pageant. The Miss America telecast had stiff competition from football Sunday night, but it wasn't even close. 18.9 million viewers tuned in for football, 4.3 for Miss America. Compared to last year, the pageant is down more than a million viewers. Could it be the way the show started? Right from the get-go, it didn't look like anything viewers had seen before. Contestants in casual clothes at Miss America? I am Grace Patrick, Illinois. I am contestants got a chance to introduce themselves on the live broadcast. But reaction to the end of the bikini competition was intense. In its place, a red carpet walk during which the ladies wore evening gowns. Twitter went crazy with people irate about the changes. What was so broken that all this needed to happen, one viewer tweeted. But it wasn't all negative. Tonight's show made me proud to be a woman, wrote one supportive viewer. Also making a big splash, the reigning Miss America, Cara Mund, who has attacked the current pageant leadership, saying they marginalized her. Cara wore a bold emerald green gown to say her goodbye. Here at the Miss America pageant in Atlantic City, it was noticeable that last year's winner, Cara Mund, only appeared briefly in tonight's final show, the very beginning and the very end. One wonders if this is a reflection of the past several weeks and the chaos and controversy she has endured with the Miss America management. The show ended as it always has, with roses, tears, and the crowning of a new Miss America, New York's Mia Franklin. Mia is 24 years old and wowed everyone with her classically trained voice. Along with her crown, Mia Franklin has won a $50,000 scholarship. Tomorrow on Inside Edition, we'll be talking with her about all the drama at this year's contest. Other news today, a Dallas cop is facing manslaughter charges after shooting her neighbor dead in his own apartment. The cop claimed she thought she was in her apartment and was firing at an intruder, but she couldn't have been more mistaken. Les Trent with a look at how this tragic killing happened. <laughs> The Dallas cop who shot her neighbor dead is in tears as she makes a call moments after the shooting shocking America. Paramedics desperately try to save the life of her 26-year-old victim as he's rushed to the hospital. Officer Amber Geiger says she went to the fourth floor apartment by mistake. Her apartment is on the floor below. The 30-year-old cop entered the apartment building on the wrong floor. All the hallways look the same. All the doors are painted tan. Neighbor Jeffrey Scherzer says the apartments have fobs like this, not keys. It doesn't automatically lock behind you, and from inside there's a deadbolt. Geiger says she opened what she thought was her door. She found it unlocked, and when she entered, she saw both of them Jean and thought he was an intruder. Jean's family attorney says the officer's story raises more questions than it answers. Why was she so quick to rely on deadly forces it is a great mystery to us. Both of them, Jean was a model citizen, an accountant, and a devout churchgoer. This video of Jean singing at a Sunday service was shot just four days before he was killed. His mother, who is from the Caribbean, is speaking out today. This is the worst pain any mother can feel. Funeral services for Mr. Jean have been set for Thursday. And there's no 